Prayer for Undercover Operatives in Russia and Ukraine by Lucas Luis. This article in, uh, in the news states Russia is gearing for another big offensive. Russia prepares thousands of tanks and armored vehicles and hundreds of fighter jets for uh, offensive. Article can be found here. This is a prayer anyone can use to pray for the Confederation and Alliance undercover operatives to be successful in the Russian-Ukraine conflict, and of course to pray for the people there. An undercover Confederation operative friend once told me it does not matter if a prayer is formal or not. So we can make up our own prayers as long as the intention is sincere. Here is the prayer. Dear God, thank you for the presence of the Confederation and Alliance on this planet. May the victims of the Ukraine-Russian war be safe, and may the undercover Confederation and Alliance operatives be successful in the conflict. Amen. This prayer will really have an effect because science has shown prayer has a small positive effect. As shown here. This is from the pub bed. Okay. In my humble opinion, the Matthew twenty three twenty three system works in all situations, including this situation. In Matthew 23, 23, Jesus states, But you have neglected the more important matters of the law, justice, mercy, and faithfulness. Which can be seen here. And, let's see. In my humble opinion, the Alliance is God's justice, they are here to remove the Amigans, while the Confederation is God's mercy, they help out by reading um, people's thoughts, Earth people's thoughts with registering discs, and answer prayers for people sincere in service to God, as well as help people make it to Confederation worlds in their next life with their memory intact, and the Earth people are God's faith by following the laws of Jesus. The Matthew 23, 23 system can be applied to this Ukraine-Russian conflict, uh, Russia conflict. The undercover alliance operatives discredit authoritarian governments. Please see RK files toward, towards your tomorrows, as well as resort to sabotage within those authoritarian governments. Please see RK files towards your, uh, your tomorrows. It's supposed to be your... And while the undercover confederation operatives encourage faith in God and positivity in addition to using technology to influence more peaceful behaviors in war zones, please see From Outer Space to You, Annotated Text Only Edition, 2017, Book 2, Landing, Chapter 2, A Profound Space Teacher. The Earth people can passively resist the war by doing their best to live according to the laws of Jesus and therefore make the job a little easier for their undercover confederation and alliance operatives. The system is synergistic. The more God's justice, mercy, or faith is successful, the more they all benefit. The end result of the Matthew 23-23 system in the Ukraine-Russian conflict is an authoritarian government, Russia, that is more discredited and sabotaged, while it is while its disgruntled populace is more inclined to look towards God and freer countries for assistance and for less authoritarian alternatives to the current people in power. 
The Confederation does not come from Venus or any other local planets. That was memory manipulation against Adamski, Menger, and others by the Omegans. Please see the spurious context files from Brother Bob's excellent TerraCore file site. For Brother Bob, I mean Brother R case, towards your tomorrows. It's right here. Okay. Thank you. Please have a good day and God bless.